Hello everyone, I'm back with a new another exciting video. This time I came up with a stock predictor or we can say that stock market price predictor or we can also we can say that stock trend predictor or future predictor. So in this particular video, I'm going to show you how I made that project, where I got the uh, idea for that project and uh, how my project works. This video. I have made that project and also deployed on internet so I'll give you the uh, link on, in the description box you can also check it out there and uh, predict the price so firstly I want to de declare that uh, this project is just for project do not invest money it's totally risk on you whether you are uh, investing money after saying this project or with the help of this project it's totally your responsibility. I made that project just to show you my interest and uh, my dedication about my data science program and that pro uh, that project uh, which I made. That. This time, firstly, I want to show you uh, the my project. Then I will show you the result of that project. Let me uh, share the idea behind that project where I got that idea. So the idea is a uh, few days ago, my friend Ramesh asked me, uh, I want to invest some money on the stock market. Could you help me out to which stocks I have to buy and uh, which is, which will be the profitable? So at that time, I don't know anything about the stock market. So I uh, I told him, wait some days. I want, I have to in, uh, invest some time on or uh, investigate some stocks about uh, the futures. Um, so that I can predict the future. So he gave me, okay, that's fine. Um, you can. So please suggest me the profitable one only. Then uh, I told him, okay, I'll definitely suggest you. This project takes three days to properly investigate, properly uh, uh, mind map that uh, how to make that project. And uh, with the help of uh, internet, I made that project individually. So. In this video, uh, let me show you the my project first, then I'll show you the result and uh, with where I have deployed project. So, firstly, I have to open this Streamlit tab and dot app. So, I made that project whole project on Streamlit website. So, uh, because the Streamlit is the one of the simplest and uh, easiest you know, website making app. So, firstly, uh, loading. Firstly, I have imported the NumPy. Then after Pandas. Matplotlib. Let me tell you the uh, most important thing. Uh, I uh, didn't have uh, any data set loaded in my project for my project because it totally taken from a website, scrap that, you know, scrap from the website and uh, apply a machine learning on that and uh, it predicts the future. So I didn't give any CSV files or raw data to my machine. Just uh, at the first time, uh, at the making of that project, I have given the some data for to train my machine, but uh, now it's totally free of any data so it online and uh, totally which i have imported is import matplotlib.pyplot as plt for uh, making the graph pandas da uh, data reader as data to detect the data and fetch out from the website called y finance or yahoo finance i have taken all the my data is taken from yahoo finance uh, which is a uh, one of the best platform to for the stock market uh, stock market prediction or there are a lot of uh, website, there are a lot of stocks which you can get from that uh, website. So the next one is the import TensorFlow. So I have taken uh, 13 year data uh, from 2010 to 2023. And uh, uh, then uh, after that, uh, I have uh, written, uh, write the ST dot title, which is stock future predictor, which shows the stock future predictor for my website. And here is the user input user give me the input here then uh, uh, if uh, I have give, uh, I have put it the button here if a user click on the button then only the uh, this operation will happen otherwise this oper operation will not happen so uh, df is equal to dy uh, df so df is equal to yf dot uh, download user is input start to end it means in uh, the line, in the meaning of this line is my machine will go to the Y finance, Yahoo finance, download the data, 
as per the user's demands from the starting which is the uh, 2010 and the ending point which is 2023 okay as per uh, i have given to uh, 30th june 30th july 2023 so then after uh, uh, the sub subheaders and write the describes function it shows my description and the uh, sub there is something and then i'll show uh, it shows some map this is the map uh, first map second map and the third map and then after that uh, it's train the data it uh, whatever the data it gets it uh, convert into test and train data and uh, split into two different type training and testing and then after in the model work sk.preprocessing import uh, min max scaling so that i can scale down the values whatever uh, uh, i got in the close value close column whatever the from sklearn.preprocessing mm, then now the next line contains uh, sklearn.preprocessing import min max scaler and uh, this is the scalar min max scalar which features range is equal to 0 0.0,1 this is my model and uh, it fits to the training data set then uh, again convert into test uh, uh, test split then this will predict this will give the prediction and then another one is the final graph which is my predict prediction graph so in this graph i can show i can see the whether the graph goes up or down so the as per the demand of the um, as per the situation i can take the decision then next line is the main loop and uh, st dot title stock predictor analysis and this ending column so let me show you the project how my products looks like Okay, stock user predictor. This uh, so this is the stock predictor, and I will also open the Yahoo Finance. So that I can open some stocks in the front of you. Okay, this is uh, this is the total page uh, which is loaded in, uh, in the front of you. A A P L. It's a Apple stock. So I'll not predict the Apple stock because uh, I have tested it uh, so many times and I got bored from that. So let me tell you, uh, show you the new thing. Okay, Bitcoin. Here you can see, you can see that uh, the Bitcoin is going uh, low. It's low. Let me see the what my predictor says. Just copy that and paste there, and then predict. I will get all the prediction. Here you can see that the app is running and uh, at first uh, at first time it's 
the app is slow but uh, uh, after the running some talks it goes fast Let me change the SP. SPI National Show. It shows positive growth. Let me check the whether my app is predicting same or not okay here you can see our description of the sbim and uh, the opening price is this high price is this low price is this close price is this volume is this and adjoint closes this the let me focus the closing price for uh, two days ago the total count is 3351 3, the mean values is 292 the standard deviation is and no, standard deviation is 110 the minimum value is 147 147 to 292 if there is a huge difference between minimum values and the mean values and the uh, 75 percent is 314 and the maximum value is 625 so the uh, let me see the closing price with time chart so here you can see that the closing price is high and uh, this is the chart of the 100 days moving average it means from today to backward 100 it means uh, uh, from today to uh, past 100 days it shows the moving average shows the average of the graph so the next one is the 100 to 200 it means uh, from today to back 200 moving average it shows this graph so uh, green one is the uh, graph 200 days graph and the uh, red one is the 100 graph, 100 days graph. So this is my predictor uh, prediction of my stocks. It, this shows the everything. The I have to see the original price and the prediction price. So red line is the prediction uh, line, and the blue line is the predict uh, original line. So here you can see that my machine says uh, uh, the red one is up. So my machine says the tomorrow's opening price or the uh, tomorrow's stock price of uh, SPI is high. So if I have to uh, invest some money on that, I have to predict the upside so that I will get some. Uh, I will get uh, maximum so that I will uh, get the maximum. Profit. This is all about my project, and as I have uh, showed you, this is the final product. And let me uh, warn you that uh, do not take any decision from this project. This is this project I have just made for fun and made for only for. Let me tell you the please do not make any decision from this project. So I'll give you the link in the description bo box about this project and the GitHub link. But please do not take any decision or do not 
invest money through, through this project and uh, if you invest the loss or profit will be yours i made this project for only for fun and to gain some knowledge about the, how the pri uh, price predictor works and uh, in the um, in the fields of data science so this is all about my project and uh, you can if you like my project or you have any question regarding that project or you want to discuss some uh, something else uh, regarding the data science concepts and the project or need any help for that uh, for any project you can pre uh, contact me on the description box i'll definitely in get in touch with you so it's all from my side okay let me show you some more predictions whether my prediction and predictor works or not hdfc bank it shows positive 0.47 percent so let me check this Okay, here you can see that the, my prediction and the actual is almost good. So here, it, here I can zoom it. So the next day prediction, I think it will go down because here you can see that the uh, here because here you can see that the dip. So whatever it is. Uh, I'll not take any I'm not going to invest some money through this project or I'm going to invest on stock market so that's only for the education purpose so let me check another one the minus okay I think Kotak Bank and this This is the description. Uh, the closing price is the maximum price is 200 and 2210. And uh, okay, everything is going very good. Let me show you what I have uh, noticed. So, here you can see that. Uh, actual prediction is the blue lines and the, my prediction is the red one so uh, at the tick point uh, the actual prediction and the my prediction is almost same so uh, and uh, you can see that the you can see that the stocks is going negative red one is negative and here is here my machine also predicts the the line is uh, downward here you can see that uh, the the red one is um, the negative shows the here you can see that the uh, negative one the stocks is in negative and uh, my project is also predicting the negative because the head of the line of red line is uh, downward so i can easily predict the next step it means the tomorrow first august the prediction is uh, minus downward so if i have to suppose if i have to invest some money on this uh, unquoted bank i'll invest downward so that's all from my project to like and learn something uh, from my project then motivate me so the like button and comment that's all from my side bye bye